days, it was all over. Darkness fell on Yugoslavia. The people took to the mountains and the forests. By the end of 1941, the resistance had spread throughout Serbia, Montenegro, Slovenia, and Croatia. Many of the partisan groups were molded into a People's Liberation Army by Josef Broz Tito, leader of the Yugoslav Communist Party. It became a formidable force, armed in large part by weapons sent from America and Britain. sent some of their best divisions into this rugged terrain. They did not succeed in crushing the partisans. They posted a reward of 100,000 marks for Tito's head. Frustrated and impotent against the partisans, the Germans took the only course they knew. More and more Yugoslavs went into the mountains taking their most precious possessions. Behind them was massacre. The Unknown War will be back after this. And he now returns with From the Balkans to Vienna. Wherever the Germans were able to move in Yugoslavia, they imposed the new order, the rule of terror. But the Yugoslavs kept control of the mountains. Yugoslav's resistance was heroic. They were fighting not only a merciless enemy, but the savage elements themselves. Slowly, painfully, at great cost, the Yugoslavs began to liberate their own land. planes brought guns, ammunition, medical supplies, and took out the wounded. The 
Allied Air Force brought in over 3,000 tons of military cargo, flying on to the Allied base at Bari in Italy to refuel. It gave the partisans hope. September 21st, 1944, Tito made an agreement in Moscow. It allowed the Red Army to pass through Eastern Yugoslavia to attack Hungary. It also arranged for a joint attack by the Red Army and Tito's forces that would liberate the Yugoslav capital of Belgrade. A week later, on September 28th, the drum fire rolled. Marshal Tolbukhin's 3rd Ukrainian Army struck all its force. October 14th, the Soviets and Tito's People's Liberation Army reached the outskirts of Belgrade. For six days, the Germans fought savagely and in desperation. By street, block by block, the Germans were forced out. By October 20th, the Germans had been crushed. said, without the Soviet Union, it would have been impossible to win over the Nazi invaders. We shall never forget the many thousand Soviet heroes who, in the course of this struggle on the battlefields of Yugoslavia, together with our soldiers, shed their blood and sacrificed their lives. Joseph Broz Tito had come a long way from his ragged beginnings in the mountains. 